so today we've got a lot to get into. Huge sneaker and clothing haul. I've got a ton of stuff. Reebok, Palace, Guess, H&M, PacSun, Adidas. I don't think I'm gonna get to everything, but I'm gonna try and we gotta get right into it, so let's do it. I'm gonna start off with a few things you may have seen already, you may not have, but I've got this lightweight Reebok jacket. As soon as I got this in, I started wearing it because it's amazing. It's black and white, very lightweight, like it is a traditional windbreaker, and then it has some classic Reebok vector logos all throughout. On the front, you've got a pouch with a white Reebok logo, also two side zippers. On the sides of the jacket, you've got some white panels to give it that retro style look, a hood, and then a huge vector logo on the back as well. And then on the sleeve, you also have another vector logo, and it is a quarter zip. So this thing is really cool, not something you see a lot of people wearing. I got it overseas, very hyped on it, and I had to share it with you guys. And when I got that jacket, I went ahead and grabbed this crew neck sweatshirt, also from Reebok. I immediately got it on site. I was like, yep, add to cart, I'm buying it right now. This thing is crazy, it's black and white as well, and it's kind of like a mock neck crew neck sweatshirt done in a light fleece. You have white piping on the raglan cut, and then you also have more piping on the left arm. I don't think any on the right. Yep, the right arm is just blank. I've been really into Reebok a lot recently, clothing and sneakers, especially the stuff overseas. It's really cool, it's refreshing, it's affordable, so I've been into it a lot. And for everyone that's gonna say, oh man, it's too hot, I can't wear that. Oh, sorry. It's 58 degrees today, so I'm wearing this light jacket, you know, just getting a fit off. All right, next up, I got two more items from Stussy. This is from their spring and summer collection. This is the spray stripe short done in orange and white. These things are so dope, man. It is a French terry material, and they kind of dyed it with this orange spray all across, and you can see some of the white terry exposed right here in the middle, at the bottom, and up at the top. Love the way that they did these, man. These are super unique. They're nice shorts for the summertime. These sold out pretty quick. There's also a couple other colorways. If I can find them, I will link them down below. But this was another thing that I had to grab right away. Stussy has been on fire. On fire. I've loved a lot of collections that they've dropped. This t-shirt sticks with that same theme as the shorts. However, it's done in tan and white this time. And I gotta say, I'm a little bit let down with this t-shirt. The price of it was 45, so it was definitely expensive, and it's unique, no doubt. They let you know that this garment has been dyed, and it kind of gives it a one-of-one -one type result, which is nice, but it was $45, and I've seen that some Stussy clothing has been made in Los Angeles recently, and I thought that this t-shirt would definitely be made in USA, given that price tag. It was made in India, and the quality's just okay. It's just okay. The shorts are a lot nicer than this t-shirt is, but it still gives off a cool look. I'm not too let down with it, but if you pay $45 for a t-shirt, especially kind of like a basic tee from a brand like Stussy, you want it to be nice, very soft, and um, this is just okay. I'm not let down. I'm still going to wear it. I'm not going to return it. I like it a lot. I'm just saying uh, it could have been a little bit better. Next up, I got some t-shirts from PacSun. This is just an all-white boxy t-shirt. I got this for $6, and I tweeted that link out. And then I also have a Huff Worldwide t-shirt. I like Huff a lot. You guys know that I've been down with Huff for a while. I haven't done a Huff video in a minute, and uh, there's a few reasons behind it that I won't really get into, but their t-shirts are the best, man. I love Huff t-shirts. Quality-wise, this t-shirt is what the Stussy t-shirt should be. This was originally like 30-something. I got it on sale for 15. Very soft and comfortable, and I love the length on these t-shirts they are a little bit generous. So a tall guy like me, you need something like that. And again, I thought this color, the way that they dyed it was very unique. You've got Huff Worldwide established in 2002 on the front, and then it's done in this green and off-white color. So I could not turn this t-shirt down for $15. Next up, I got a couple things from Moose Limited, and I saw that they had this champion tee on sale, and it had to go down. 
It had to go down. We've got the reverse. Oh, they sent me the wrong one. Ha <laughs> ha. They sent me the wrong one. Those bastards. Damn, is it my size at least? Extra large still. Oh well. So this is a champion reverse weave t-shirt and it was supposed to have the script logo going across the front. Instead it has the big champion C screen printed on there and then the classic C logo on the left arm. Not really let down. I tried on one of these t-shirts in PacSun and they fit me pretty good and the material is obviously nice. It was on sale. Moose Limited always has these crazy sales. And then I also got some Adidas socks. I don't know if I'm gonna wear these, I really don't, but I got them anyway. Honestly, I don't even know if these are the right socks either. I thought I ordered some with the Adidas logo only on the side. These have the three stripes and then the trefoil logo as well. So, I don't know. Some Adidas socks, who knows if I'm gonna wear them. Probably in a summer lookbook or something like that. I'm not returning socks. Next up, we got some velour action. This is from Stussy. I got this from Bodega in Boston. This is a navy velour with white stripes going across. It's very lightweight and super comfortable. When I saw this, I'm like, yeah, that, that's going down. I actually bought this one in store. I have some shorts coming in that are also this navy color, so I think that'll be a good get up. I love rocking crew neck sweatshirts and shorts. It's hard to pull off that combination, but if the weather's right, it's such a good look and uh, it's comfortable to me. Sticking with that velour theme, I've got this Adidas three stripe track jacket also done in a soft velour material. You guys saw me wearing this in my car vlog and a lot of people were asking me about it. I just threw it on that day. I really didn't have time to make a video like this so uh, this is something you've seen me wear. It's all blacked out. I'm glad I've already been able to wear it a few times. If I catch a couple cool summer nights, I'll throw this thing on. All right, next up, let's get into some sneakers. You also saw me rocking these in my April lookbook. We've got some Reebok workout lows in black and gum. I got these off the Champ Sports website and uh, again, just like the crew neck sweatshirt, I saw them, I'm like, I need those. Very affordable. These really should have been at Fresh Kicks for cheap, but uh, I just got them and wore them right away. They retail for 60 bucks, so I will link these down below. There's also a white and gum colorway. What's really nice about these is that they don't get dirty. The gum bottom hides a lot of dirt and the black leather does as well, so this is something that you can get a lot of wear out of. Keeping it moving though, I got a few things from H&M. Now, I don't buy a lot of stuff from H&M, actually very rarely, because everything I've ever bought didn't really hold up, the quality was crappy, and I just have never been happy with a lot of the stuff that I got from H&M. However, these are different, and when I saw them in store, I went ahead and got it because this is part of their H&M Conscious program. So I got two tank tops, white and black, and both of them were $6.99 and they have organic cotton. So, I don't know, I thought that for that price tag and the organic cotton and how soft it is, I went ahead and got them. You know, this is something that you can wear on its own or layer a tank top underneath a t-shirt or something if it's not too hot out. And while I was in there, I saw that they had these light pink Terry shorts. Who knows how these are gonna hold up. If they only last for one summer, you still kinda get your money's worth because they were on sale and the price tag was only $12.99. So I think I got them for like 10 bucks or something like that. But that's how H&M gets you. Everything is impulsive, I feel like. You're like, oh, it's only $12.99. Oh, it's only $19.99. Oh, it's only $6.99. And then you end up with a bunch of H&M stuff that uh, doesn't hold up or you don't like the next week or something. But uh, this was an impulse buy given the color. All right, I'm gonna end this video with two pickups that I got from Palace. I have not checked them out yet, so I'm gonna unbag them right now. Believe it or not, these are actually my first two pickups from Palace. I don't normally buy their stuff, one, because it sells out super fast and I'm not on my phone when it drops and I, I lose track of it. However, I've seen a lot of their items that I like and I just forget that I wanna pick them up. It's expensive, it's definitely a hyped brand and you can't really pay resale prices for these, it's stupid. Like I'm not gonna pay $300 for something that's already overpriced. So I saw these two things and they were definitely right up my alley and I went online as soon as they dropped and I was actually able to get them, so I'm pleasantly surprised. So first up, we got this paneled track top and 
it's done in this like towel material. I had no idea. I thought this was just a standard track top. So I'm definitely feeling this thing. This is better than I thought it was. Extra cozy. It's this off-white with light blue and mint green accents on the arm. It's a full zip with a P logo on the zipper and then on the back collar you've got the palace logo and it's something that again if it's breezy at night or whatever you can get away with pulling this off haha <laughs> this one's looking dope as well definitely excited about this Woo! all right so here we go with the angle track top done in blue and red this thing is vicious damn I'm happy with this one for sure. I love how they did the color blocking on here. On the left side, it's done in red, and then it breaks up with the blue even more, and then on the right side, they keep it all blue. The color options were either this one or black and white, and I opted for this one just to add a little bit more color. The problem is I have this champion jacket, which is also a blue and a red, and I really don't need this much blue and red, so I'm probably gonna get rid of this champion jacket. I've worn this thing once. If you want this, you can email me. If not, I'll probably put it on eBay or something, unless I change my mind. But this thing is looking super nice, so I think I'm gonna stick with this over the champion jacket. I like how they did the palace logo down there on the left side, and then they did the same exact thing on the back. So it's almost like a mirror image. The front of the jacket looks exactly the same as the back of the jacket. So this is pretty cool, definitely happy with it. But it's pricey, this stuff is definitely expensive. This is like 180. I'm hoping that this stuff fits me all right. But I ran through a majority of my pickups. There's a few other things, but I don't wanna make this video crazy long. So I'm gonna end it here. Definitely hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. I'll try to link whatever I can find down in the description. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, especially if you wanna find some good deals like the ones I showed in this video. A lot of new stuff on the way, so keep an eye out for it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.